This video provides an overview of the user experience related to the Sage CRM integration with Sage 100. Let's bring up a customer record called American Business Futures. On the company summary screen, there are many points of integration, but I'll start by pointing out these three fields, year to date, last year to date, and last invoice date. These key statistics are very prominently displayed on this screen, and they can also display from the Sage CRM Outlook interface. Next, notice the tabs across the top of the screen. The Sage 100 Customer tab displays the customer profile. On the AR and Order Inquiry tabs, we can view order and invoice history, including line item detail. Sales Summary allows us to filter data by fiscal period. Item Sales History allows us to see data for a specific item by fiscal year. Year-to-date details summarizes the products they purchased this year versus last year by both sales value and units. We can resort the columns and filter through the data. We can view a snapshot of a client's credit information on the Credit History tab. Within Sage CRM, we can also create new quotes and orders that use Sage 100's inventory and pricing. This function can wrap the quote or order into a PDF and open up an email out screen. All of our emails, documents, and history related to a quota order can be captured here. On approval of an order, we can elect to promote the order into Sage 100. Beyond any individual account, we can view reports and dashboards related to all of our accounts, top customers, top items, so forth. Additionally, we can easily look up Sage 100 inventory records. This video covered the highlights of the user experience Please email us with questions or to schedule a personalized demonstration.